Well, a good activity might be a little glass blowing, possibly doing something be. inside. Mm -hmm. Things are getting heated for Casual Friday today. Laura Curtley joins us now live from Inspired Fire in Lafayette. Good morning, Laura. Yeah, the, the heat is on here at Inspired Fire. We're going to be making one of these uh, gob We, I'm sorry, Sharon will be making one of these beautiful goblets here. Take a look at my creation. Oh, not so good. Um, but actually, we're going to get started on this goblet. And uh, we're, I'm going to put these glasses on here. If you're wondering why it is that we um, use these glasses, basically it's to see the flame a little bit better. And, and Sharon, it's not something that's really going to hurt your eyes. Phil's going to show an example of what it looks like when you actually have the glass over the lens there, you can you can see the flame better. Yeah, you can see inside the flame, so you can see actually what the glass is doing a little bit better inside the flame. Okay. And then you can sort of see it without it. Um, it's a little bit different. So what are you doing right now here? I'm blowing the goblet. Okay. And your skills are a little bit better than mine at this point. <laughs> And this is sort of the bulbous part of the goblet. Right. This will be the, the top part where you'll actually, you can drink out of that part. So I blow it in two sections. I blow the, you know, the top part of the goblet. And even in the top part of the goblet, I blow the bottom half and then the top half. And that's how I can make larger sections to the entire goblet. Okay. It's just amazing how flexible it is once you heat it up and it can expand. It's a lot of fun. It's just uh, an incredible medium to work with. And just by expanding it just a little bit, you can come out with these beautiful goblet shapes. Mm -hmm. And I find that almost anybody can blow glass, like yourself. Yeah, well, <laughs> some are better than others. But you were saying it's also just, it's very therapeutic. Because it's, you have, it takes concentration, but also once you get the flow of it. Right. It's, it's, people come out here and, you know, it's almost better than therapy, they've said. You know, yeah. because it's very, very relaxing. And at the end of it, you actually come out with something you've made. And so whether you're doing wonderful gifts for someone or just for yourself, um, it's an awesome way to have fun and create um, things at the same time. So this is a unique place to come and play. So um, I didn't even realize I, you sort of sectioned it off, and now you're making the top of the goblet. Right. I cut off the okay. very top of it. Now I'm going to use scissors on glass. You may not be aware that you could actually use scissors on glass. You yeah. can as long as the glass is hot, and you can't put the scissors into the fire. That's amazing. Okay, we got a lot more coming up with the goblet making here. I'm, just, I'm, trans, I'm transfixed. So we'll send it back to you guys. That is incredible. Laura, we're in the same boat. We How many are. times do we go, oh, no oh, way, gosh, during that cut-in right there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I really, I can't stop staring at it. It's really neat. <laughs> We can't eat. I'm already looking forward to the next no, time I'm we check in I'm trying to think of you. words, too. It's so <laughs> okay, thanks, guys. So well, we appreciate it. Just like therapy. So We're talking neat. about the patience you the would patience need to do The patience you that. would have to have to look at it like a therapy method. That, that makes a lot more sense. I'm glad we weren't on, on camera when Sharon pulled it <laughs> apart because we were all like, what? <laughs> How on earth did she do that? Checking with Laura a little bit later on. <laughs> National Headlines.